Hello ladies, this is Adora here and um, I just wanted to bring this video to um, address maybe a lot of you that are going natural and you don't know um, really how to start going natural and you don't necessarily know what your first step needs to be. Um, basically the first step in going natural is you stop getting relaxers. Yeah, you definitely have to stop putting the relaxers in your hair. That's the first step. The second step would be if you're not going to do if you're um, not going to do your hair at home, would be to find a salon that specializes in natural hair and helping women to transition from relaxer to straight. I'm sorry, from relaxer to natural. Yeah, that would be the second step. Um, third is if you are trying to go natural on your own. It's very, I'm just going to keep it on, I'm just going to keep it real with you. It's very, very, very hard to try to maintain your hair, you know, yourself at home. Because a lot of the products that you're going to need, you're not going to be um, able to purchase those products because of the fact that you don't have a license. As far as like the reconstruction treatments that I'm always speaking about. Um, now, there are a lot of, you know, natural things that you can do to the hair to help preserve the relaxer hair, the relaxed hair that's going to be on the ends of your hair, which is over a period of time is going to be really, really thin. Um, you can do uh, egg and, you know, mayonnaise treatments. Those actually, since they have protein, they'll help, you know, rebond, rebuild the um, protein that's, that's in your hair, but your hair is still going to be a little weak. So this is why a lot of women just opt to, you know, do the big chop. But if you have a salon in your area that actually specializes in helping you transition, um, helping you maintain strong natural hair, uh, then I would suggest that you go there. Uh, what else? Okay, a lot of women uh, want to put braids in their hair. Now, braids are fine, but you do have to necessarily keep in mind that if you have thick, thick roots, and your ends are really, really, really fragile. By the time you take those braids out, more than likely your relaxed hair would have probably is probably going to pop off, depending on how fragile it is. Because anytime that something is fragile, the more tension that you put on on anything that's fragile is prone to break and pop. Yeah, I mean it's it's definitely a journey, which is why a lot of women call it, call it you know their natural hair journey. It's definitely a journey when you're, you know, considering transitioning. So like I said, um, you can try to do it on your own, but it's definitely hard from, and, I, and I'm not speaking for everyone. I mean, I'm quite sure there's a lot of women out there that you guys have transitioned um, you, yourself and your hair didn't pop off. More than likely, you probably just had strong hair, were probably eating healthy, taking vitamins, so on and so forth. But with that being said, it's, it's definitely, you know, difficult to try to transition out of a relaxer um, by yourself. So, with that being said, I hope this helped. If it didn't help, I do apologize. I'm not speaking for everyone. These are just my opinions, um, you know, but with them being my opinion, with those being my personal opinions, I am a licensed cosmetologist that has been practicing for 20 years. So, I think I have a good idea of what I'm talking about. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments box and I will definitely answer as many as I can. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, my channel is Nappy to Straight. I am Adwala Daniels. I am the owner of Dominican Dubas by Adwala, which is located in Columbia, South Carolina. And my salon specializes in natural and healthy hair care. And I transition women from the relaxer every single day. Okay? I do have a website. Um, all of my information is in the About Me section. So um, you guys just click on that and see what I have to offer. And like I said, if you have any questions, I'm definitely here to answer them. Okay? Hope you guys have a great day. Stay tuned.